it'd be worth giving up everything to go. And uh, I think it would be something I could do. I think I could leave. <laughs> Once you're gone, you are technically dead here on Earth, and and I'm okay with that. I don't have any important reasons to be on Earth right now, so I'm really not leaving that much behind. I mean, I, I had, you know, some vague goals in mind for my life, but I don't know, not a lot of direction. Right now they're talking about a one-way mission. You go up there, you do not come back. How, how do you react when your husband says, guess what, it's one way, I'm not coming back. The sky's the limit, but I guess it's actually more than the sky that's the limit. Um, I, I, I really want to do this. I, I, I want to go to Mars. I want this more than I want anything. I am really good at being in small, tight spaces and confined to solitude. Sometimes it's overwhelming and draining. If there's a ton of noise, a ton of people, like it, it can be exhausting. I do remember when I was a kid laying on a trampoline at night looking up at the stars and imagining how far away they are going there. That's what I remember from my childhood. I started working at the planetarium because I like the solar system and astronomy and space exploration. And I learned about Mars while I was working there. They have exhibits, a lot of exhibits there on Mars, some of them talking about settling Mars. I'll miss nature like trees, beaches, oceans, rain, snow. That's probably the most thing, because that will be the most absent thing if I go to Mars. And I won't miss people too much. My name is Kitty Kane, and I'm a hairstylist, but I'm also an aspiring astronaut. I want there to be like a statue of me on Mars in the future. <laughs> My boyfriend is less than thrilled about this. Um, I, I, he's kind of doing what, what everyone's doing. Like he's trying to be supportive because he knows it's my dream. I'm sure it, it probably, probably hurts. If she made it to the last four, she would do it because she's that kind of person, the kind of person that would do it because she believes in it. If I had a family, I wouldn't go. Like, if I had kids, I would not leave them to go to Mars. If I didn't have the wife and kids, uh, there'd be no debate, there'd be no issue, it'd be simple who has kids and isn't there for the rest of their lives to try to take care of them. How can I do that if I'm on Mars? Part of me thinks, why is everyone making such a big deal? He hasn't been chosen yet, you know? I'm kind of in the, it's not real phase right now, so. A lot more uh, 
a lot more drama into our relationship lately, you know, about the reality of are you choosing family or are you choosing Mars and how difficult that, uh, that process is. My little boy Connor, if he, uh, if he came up to me and just said, Dad, don't go. That would probably change my mind. My life is pretty boring. I'm kind of just a normal guy. I'm like a floater. I'm like a turd in the toilet bowl of life. I just kind of float. I really don't have any necessary direction. Once I heard about this, it kind of called out to me. Why not donate myself? <laughs> I totally see it as a, a voluntary donation toward something bigger than myself. You know, something that is historic. Your life is going one direction. You have all these branches, but here is something that is a complete T in the road that you are taking this whole different direction and making a difference in, I, I'd say it would impact everybody's life. I'm not bored. I mean, I, I enjoy this way of life. I've got lots of friends and I'm a beekeeper and uh, the thing I'd miss the most would be my bees. I really enjoy making friends with them and you know, watching the bees come in and out of the entrance, going working on the flowers out in the field and having them come back with honey. I've got a girlfriend. Maybe my girlfriend telling me she doesn't want me to go. And that would that would probably change my mind. But I, I think there'd be a lot of things that I would love about Mars that would uh, overcome everything that I'm missing about Earth. This is my dream as a child of always doing. And if, you know, this keeps looking as, as, as good as it is, will that opportunity come where they say, yeah, you are one of the guys that's, that we're going to have go? It is such a unique opportunity that I would go. My family might be able to persuade me not to. They might be able to convince me not to go. I wanted to go to Mars because it would give me another purpose for living. In a way, renewing my purpose. I would have a greater use of myself for the rest of humankind. I hope that it's a success and I hope it's not basically suicide. But if it is, and you know, I've got 10 years to live it up here on Earth. I don't know, everyone thinks they're special, I guess. But I really do think I'm special. I feel like I'm, I'm supposed to go. Some days it's difficult for me to realize that I'm always gonna be the backup. But then, other days I realize that I'm the backup to Mars. Amy, my girlfriend, if, if we do get engaged, where it goes from there, that's the only thing that would change my mind. Not even the planet Earth, just her. It's just the fact that we 
humans have, are trying something and uh, that I would be remembered and it's a very good noble uh, gesture to try to go out and try to expand into the universe. <laughs>